morning. <clears throat> In my one video, I had a very long discussion about why some people uh, can't see a certain type of reality unfolding. And I want to expand upon that just a little bit after reading some comments on a Charlie McGrath video. And it goes into the science of psychology and neurophysiology. Well, Sigmund Freud had a protege, Carl Jung, and Carl had started a study of the different types of brains. And we have people commenting saying, you know, oh, it's only the doom and gloomers that are privy to this information. They know stuff that everybody else doesn't know. And they can't see or just haven't had the proper analogy put forth to them to explain how this occurs. And the simplest way that I could uh, take Carl Jung's work into a modern Jonathan P. Neednagel's work on brain types, and then Howard Gardner out of Harvard University, uh, he his uh, his way of stating it is multiple intelligences, and so Jung started this thinking that the brains are clearly operating in distinct ways, and Need Noggle came up with 16 different brain types, and indeed neurophysiology points to this, that there are specific ways that the brain categorizes and filters through information. And so to explain this very simply to people is giving them the analogy that, yes, indeed, some people are privy to uh, information, a flow, uh, whether it be connecting to the collective unconsciousness or uh, what artists call inspiration. So if, if we were all wired the same way and our brains handled information and signals from wherever the same way, we'd all be capable of great masterworks of art and music or the great inventions of Tesla. But we're not. So you have people that, let's call it tap in, and uh, have insight and foresight and follow intuition and it leads them to certain uh, worldviews and certain creations and I had a very interesting experience with a fellow artist having a very strong impression of a work of art that they had wanted to create and they never got around to it, but you know, years later, then they see that work of art that had been created almost exactly how they had pictured it in their mind's eye. So our brains are, are working on a lot of different levels. We have the level of, you know, the conscious thought, and then we have the level of, you know, intuition, and then we have a level of inspiration you know, where we get these sudden flashes and, you know, the great inventions or the scientist that has been laboring in a lab for a very long time on a problem all of a sudden sits back in his easy chair and is, you know, daydreaming and then bam, you know, the answer comes without any uh, real thought. So this type of stuff does happen and that's... Um, 
that's why you have people that are viewing things in such a different way. So you have your chess masters that and that are able to what they call chunk information and store a lot more. You have people of great memory. And I tried to explain to this person that it doesn't matter if you're wired for linguistics. It doesn't matter how great your education was or how many facts are presented. Sometimes they just cannot grasp mathematical concepts. Likewise, sometimes people that have great abilities in mathematics have terrible communication in interpersonal relationships. So you have to accept that, that, that you know, we're coming from, from a different area and there are very few people throughout history that have been able to uh, grasp what's going on in a global historical context of a great overview. You have people that, you know, are focused on the, these little tiny details. And that mind is almost incapable of fitting that into the overall scheme of things. And then people that look at the huge overall scheme of things can't get themselves into working out the details. So it takes all of these different brain types, you know, even in an engineering project, to get the idea to paper, to construction, to a working model. So that's my explanation, is, you know, you can't feel, you know, like somebody is better than somebody else because they're seeing or doing something. It's just, you're not wired for it. No matter how much you try, facts present it. Sometimes you can't get them on the same page. But the people with the overview, it's a great gift. And the people that are working out the problems on those smaller detailed levels, that's also a gift. We all have our gifts. I hope you find yours, embrace it, and uh, move forward and, and use it to help, help others. All right, I'm gonna go to work. So I'll talk to you later. Have a good weekend.